Hello everyone. Welcome back to bisbtrainings.com. Once again, I welcome all of you. Today, we'll be going to see how to prepare a dashboard in R. So as you know that since from past few videos, we'll be working on building financial reports using R and we have already prepared two, three reports. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to add all the reports into a single report. That means we want to add all the reports into a dashboard so that we can share that dashboard to our CFO of a company. So what's the idea behind this is actually I would like to present all the reports in a single dashboard so that the CFO of a company or the decision maker of a company they will be knowing that what's going on and they can based on that they can make the decisions they can make the future plannings or they can make the future strategies. So as you can see here in this screen. I have placed three different plots, three different graphs, and I have plot them into a single plot. So the first chart, the first graph indicates net sales versus net profit. Third one, we have region wise expenditure. And the second one is basically it's a box plot which displays the net profit versus net sales versus profit margin. And it displays the basically it is used for grouping grouping of all the net profit was the maximum and the lowest in similar way we have the maximum net sale net sales and the maximum and the uh, least profit margin as well as the uh, as well as the mean of that uh, of the all the profit margin of all the data. So let's see how to build a dashboard a consolidated dashboard how to prepare it and place all the charts on a dashboard and share it with our clients or our users. So for this, let me switch to R Studio first. So I'm using R Studio for same. So that's my R Studio. So there is it's the the console is blank. There is nothing. It's a just the entry text. Now, first of all, I create a new script and I'm going to start writing my code here and executing the codes, running the code one by one step by step and we'll see how uh, at the end we'll get the desired output. So I again start with the same syntax library X XLSX. It will load the library. Then I write data one and I'm going to write read dot CSV D drive financial data dot CSV comma header is equal to true and separator is equal to single code because it's a comma separator value. So it so the data gets loaded into data. Then I would like to apply the aggregation. So I prepare one aggregated data and aggregate function. I would like to apply the aggregation, aggregate the amount based on by is equal to list based on region and financial elements so based on region and financial element now region and financial element these are the columns which are available in our data model that's the data file so in this we have financial elements and also we have got region so for this I specify here region equal to data one dollar region comma now one equal to data one dollar financial elements the aggregation will be sum and I'll just sum it so we'll get the aggregated data one more aggregation I have to do is because it's a combination of multiple charts so another aggregation is mainly for calculating the region for region wise sales for this particular chart, I need to create one more aggregation data. So I create one more aggregation data here, AGG data one and 
I'll just copy this and paste it and I turn it to AGG data one. Data one and this should be same. And here I just wanted to apply the aggregation based on region. I don't want financial elements. Financial elements and the function is sum. So we have got two aggregated data now and two aggregated data frames and we are going to use it. Now I create one region. I create one region and in this region I'm going to save the data from aggregated data one uh, because if I run it for example if I run a data one and if I run it we have got region and X so I want to store them into two different data sets two different data frames so I uh, write here region and store into AGG data one I want to store from I want to store region from because here we have region and X so for X for X I call it as expenditure expenditure and AGG data one and value so I'll just run both of them. Uh, we'll run it at the end. Then I create one data frame and I'm going to save it as a data frame. So as dot data dot frame as dot data frame and I bind them bind region comma expenditure then I would like to find out the unique from unique of data one dollar region because placed on that we'll be going to uh, based on that we'll be going to uh, place the chart then because I want to set the layout one chart the first chart on the first row and two charts on the second row so basically we have two rows with uh, two rows with first row with one column and second row with two column so how to set this layout so for this I write layout and I set the layout as matrix and it should be C 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 2 comma by row is equal to I set it to true so it will set the layout now we start putting our placing our bars placing our graph so first one I would like to create a bar chart for net sales versus net profit along with lines along with a bar and a line so I create here X bar plot net sales dollar X okay this we have already done so just to save the time I'll just copy paste from the existing so I just copy paste from the existing code here we have created one bar plot here we have created one plot and we join them together and add them in a box so I add them in a box and at the end uh, the it will be placed in a box like we have here the box will be created now the next thing we need to next chart will be a box plot which contains a net sales net profit and profit margin so let's see how to create this one so I'm going to create I mean I'm going to calculate the next profit so net profit and to calculate net profit I use subset and extract the value from AGG data comma pinna one equal equal net profit in similar way I want to calculate net sales so I calculate net sales as well and I call it as a net sales and it should be is equal equal net sales in similar way we can calculate profit margin as well we can keep it for our future use if you want to use it we can use it in other charts as well but I just save it profit margin and it should be equal to profit margin now we are going to plot them so I create here 
box plot i use box plot now box plot i write a g g data dollar x divided by 1000 because the figures are big so i just convert them into small figures and this box plot will be respective to a g g data dollar you know one so basically this is mainly for grouping so this will be based on grouping then this is equal to one comma i said the color now i said the color is equal to color is equal to c i specify a few colors is here s i e and n a sina comma and uh, violet red pale violet red one and also i use one more color that is royal blue two so royal blue two and on y label i add a label y label is equal to y label is equal to expenditure in millions oh, expenditure in millions and also i want to set the x label so i write x label equal to it should be financial elements financial elements and also main is equal to main is equal to net sales uh, net sales net profit and profit margin that close so let me okay that's the code to place the bar plot so let's try this much and see whether it, it plots properly or not. So I'm just going to select the complete code and execute it. And I simply click on run here. So you can see here the plots has been added. So we have got net sales. Okay, so I think the line is missing. It's not properly placed. Anyway, it will check in and the labels are also not coming. And but we are getting this box plot net sales comma net profit and profit margin so these are the net profit that's the net profit these are the whiskers the upper whisker lower whisker and that's the median in similar way we have net sales median and profit margin median so now it's working fine i just run it again and i did not miss anything i, I just execute it again i just run the whole code again now, and now see how we're getting proper net sales versus net profit along with the labels on fourth excel because we have i need to print this amount here or you can move this here and print amount this way as well and that's the second chart now we need to display the third graph that will display the region wise expenditure so to display this i'll just close it get to the r studio and specify the code or write down the code so that's the code to display our third chart that is the region wise expenditure and what's the code so i created one mp and bar plot df from x is getting the value from df we have created one data frame here in this that's the data frame so it's extracting the value from this data frame space is equal to zero x is equal to i did not set any x's for this because we are going to add the x's later on and then color is called to rainbow chain y limit i set the limit to the maximum multiply by 1.3 whatever is the maximum value of the element and main is called to region wise expenditure x lab is called to region and y lab is called to expenditure so at the end we'll get this kind of structure expenditure region wise and region wise expenditure and then this particular statement is used to place the points or the labels basically this this is to place the data data points on the each and every bar so i use this text and also we have access for the side two position is equal to minus 0.2 this is for x-axis in similar way for y-axis for side one label is equal to region so that's for region so it will place the 
regions and as well as the points on x axis and y axis respectively now let's complete let's execute the complete code all together so i select it and click on run and after the proper execution you can see the chart has been created or the dashboard has been prepared when i click on zoom we can see the complete dashboard net sales for a net profit net sales profit net profit and profit margin and region wise expenditure so it's a complete dashboard now either we can export this or we can share this we can copy to clipboard or we can save as a pdf or save as an image and we can share with our cfo or we can directly share we can directly send an image uh, we can directly share it to other cfos or our decision makers to plan their strategies for the future according to this according to the data provided to them through this dashboard so that's all in this video i believe it would be easy for you to understand that how to prepare a cfo dashboard or how to prepare a dashboard in r so that's all if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com or you can subscribe our youtube channel have a nice day goodbye